hi guys and welcome back in this video I will show you how to design an airfoil starting from a, from an idea using the program the program which is called QBlade and uh, you can find on surforge.net we just type oh, QBlade And is this one? We will download it. Okay, once you have downloaded uh, the program, you can find it now. Uh, the download the download the file and we will copy and as you can see here it, this program is not uh, did not require installation it's just a uh, standalone so don't worry you can use it also in several computers okay now we will open it and this is the blank page this program is uh, was born to design wind turbines but in our case we will use only for airfoil and then we will import the file on uh, solidworks and obtain a, a wing with our custom airfoil so uh, the first first part is click on airfoil design and you will have uh, this blank rule but if you if uh, you click on show there is a uh, airfoil if you click on points you have the the points that made uh, uh, the coordinates and with the center line which is in this case is therefore it's, it's zero 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 okay these dots are the control points and we can move it in order to to have a, a, a our airfoil and you can add more control points just first click and then spline insert control point click spline uh, insert control point okay we will see yes Okay, so once you have uh, your airfoil, you can enhance the quality of the of the points. As we can see, the output is 30, 30 coordinates. So if we put fifty on upper, fifty on lower, it's okay, and then we click on store spline as foil we hide and we have our airfoil then we uh, choose our spline foil export we will call it test01 Uh, yeah and that's it so for now our program is uh, is helpful we can go further to obtain some uh, polar core um, some yeah some polar graph just clicking here and then you have to choose the starting uh, angle of attack let's say minus 5 plus 15 then we go analyze and then you will have a sort of analysis of your effort if you are good to, to understand and read you will have a nice a nice um, behavior of your 
Oh, your air file. You can go ahead. I mean, here you save it. Here you can design your blade. You choose your spline. Okay. And then it's okay. So now we have a. Uh, We have uh, our spline as our foil, and then we will we need to translate this file to SolidWorks. So remembering the the first tutorial, we open Excel, we open the file. Select all, fix it with. We check that the minus is outside, so we move the comb. Okay, fine. Erase the line one and zero, one and zero. As we can see, we have 100 endpoints. We chose uh, 50 upper and 50 lower. So this is a, a very nice program because you can have a very detailed oh, mm, I think that this is can be a problem. But we will see later. We save it. We launch SolidWorks. <laughs> okay, so now we have SolidWorks open. We go on a new part. through x to x y z point text file remember that solidworks allows only text file so if this file was saved as that you have to click on f2 and then renaming on text on text file so we choose and then we have our airfoil then we go on sketch Com uh, no, sorry. Convert to entities, and one of the great features of this program is that the trailing edge is closed. So we hide our uh, spline, and then we. Then we scale our entity starting point. Since this is one millimeter, we will have a uh, 100. Okay, and now we are ready to to make our wing. <coughs> Once, once we have our wing, uh, our solid wing, which is not a rib, we can have just some idea of, of uh, what will happen while flewing. So test zero one. We save it with the. External We had some roughness We have a 
100 kilometers per hour we had some goals here phase one phase two phase three there's some there's some some one of them uh, okay okay once the solver has finished uh, we can go on solidworks cut plot insert we choose the dynamic pressure which is one of the main index of the lift of the lift force so there it is we can see some drag here some lift Oops, sorry. some lift and uh, some force acting pushing down the wing so this is just an example of, of uh, how to how to des to design your custom airfoil so from here if you want to make a wing just just take a look on the previous tutorials because this wing is just a, a solid wing and you need some ribs some wires some uh, some skin some spars that's it and uh, thanks for watching again and i would like to thank all all of uh, all of you 240 i think subscribers and uh, many many watchers so if you like this video if you would like something of this channel just follow or subscribe and also if you have uh, some uh, some particular request you are free to to send me a message and uh, I will I will answer all of kind of uh, of, uh, of requirements information dubs hints tips tricks cheap anything thank you again and see you later